Hi there! My name is Rina. I'm a customer care specialist at Amazon. In this video, I will show you two main use cases of the stock credit and refund extension. They will help to save money, return customers and earn more. Save money on refunds. Imagine that a customer bought a good at your store. Suddenly, it turned out that the good didn't fit the customer and they asked for a refund. The store needs to return the money and pay bank commissions for the transfer. Our extension deals with this problem. In the same situation, it refunds customers not with real money, but with store credits. These are special points that customers spend at your store only. If a customer agrees, the store saves the already received money. For example, a customer has contacted your store and asked for a refund. The customer agreed to get money as store credits. You'll do it this way. Go to Sales, Orders and choose a needed order. Inside the order, go to the Credit Memo tab. Find the Items to Refund block, choose quantity of each item to refund and mark the checkbox Return to Stock if needed. Click the Update Quantity button. Then go to the Refund Totals block. The extension will automatically insert the needed sum of the refund there. Change the amount of stock credits to refund. Finally, click the Refund Offline button. Return customers and earn more. Imagine that a customer bought a good at your store. The customer lives and minds their own business. You don't know when they will come back to your store. Our extension offers you a way to return the customer to the store. You add store credit to the customer's account, for example, as a thank you for the completed order. At the same moment, the customer will receive an email about the added store credits. This way, the customer gets motivation to come back to your store and spend money. The good news is that 75% of customers overspend the amount with their store credits by $38 on average. Say you give a customer $30 of store credits but exceed the amount and purchase goods for $68. Imagine you noticed that Veronica Costella ordered goods a week ago. You want her to come back to the store as soon as possible. First of all, you need to configure notifications by email. If Veronica doesn't know about the added store credits, she won't come back to the store. To do that, go to the extension settings and find the email notification block. Set Enable Store Credit Balance Update email to Yes. Set Administrator Ads to Store Credit Balance as a Send Email Action. Choose Store Credit Update Email Sender. This is the name of a sender. Then choose Store Credit Reply to. This is a sender's email address. Choose Email Template. Email notifications are ready. Now it's time to add Store Credit to Veronica's account. First of all, go to Customers, All Customers, find the needed customer, in our case is Veronica Castella, and click Edit in the Action column. Go to the Store Credit and Refund tab and type the amount of store credit into Add or Subtract a Credit Value. We will add Veronica $100. Save Customer. Now Veronica will receive our email, come back to the store and exceed the amount of store credits you've charged to her account. That's it for today. Get the extension to save money on refunds and return customers to your store.